This really happened. <laughs> <laughs> People are jumpy, what's happening? It once happened, Shankar and Pillai went to New York City, got into a taxi and the taxi driver was driving to a certain destination. Being an Indian who's just landed in America, he wants to talk to everybody. Well, after all, we're Indians. So taxi driver, he started talking, 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 and then taxi driver also opened up and then when the destination came nearby, he wanted him to stop. So he put his hand in that small opening and touched him on the shoulder, I want to stop here. The taxi driver jumped out of his skin, lost control over the car and went and hit a tree and went up the tree and stopped like this. And Shankaran Pillai, had a bleeding nose and he said, what, what did I do? Why did you just jump like this? I just wanted you to stop. He said, you don't understand, last thirty-two years, I have been driving a hersey <laughs> Never ever my customers ever <laughs> did this. <laughs> that is, you know, uh, he's been working for an undertaker. His customers are always dead and today when the customer touches him on the shoulder, <laughs> he lost it. And most human beings are living like this, they're jumpy about everything because they're living with the dead. If you live with us today, you are living with the dead. Please understand, everything that you are, your personality is crafted from that which is dead. Your eyes are colored with that which is dead. From what happened yesterday, you look at everybody. So you're living with the dead and in case something alive happens, you will be jumpy, you'll jump out of your skin <laughs> You will see, <laughs> when we initiate people, something comes alive little bit, people are jumpy, what's happening? You're coming alive <laughs> You've been dead for a long time. This is called raising the dead. See, you will see this. If you go, a child is sleeping. If you go and touch the child like this, he'll open his eyes like this. But most adults, you touch them like this <laughs> <laughs> Very few adults, if you go touch them, they can do that. Yes, very few. Most of them will come out <laughs> like this. Simply because every moment of their life, they're anxious about the realities of their existence. Everything is threateningly, anxiously unstable, <laughs> freaking you out. So unstable, day-to-day -day realities, yourself, people around you, situations around you, your social realities, financial realities, everything seems to be terribly threatening to a point where you're becoming paranoid. Too many human minds are ruined by anxiety. Two ladies met. This really happened. <laughs> After a very long time, they were in high school together. They had never met for twenty years. Today they met and they met in a fancy restaurant. And uh, as soon as they sat down, one of them started off, you know what, we just bought a, a silver ghost for our butler to go and buy vegetables every day. What's a silver ghost? Don't know, it's a Rolls Royce. Oh, but for our Chinese gardener, he likes a Mercedes. So we bought a Mercedes for him because he has to bring so many things. You know, for our dog, Tiara, we actually made a diamond tiara for her. As this person went on saying this, the other person said, Wow, that's fantastic! Wow, that's fantastic! Wow, that's really fantastic! It went on like this. After exhausting everything, what have you been doing? 
She said, I've been attending a charm school. How quaint, what is a charm school? What do they do there? Well, they teach us to say fantastic instead of bullshit <laughs> Somewhere you're missing the point. The reason why you're missing it is you are not a living being. You are a psychological being. You are a bundle of thoughts, emotions, ideas, opinions, prejudices, all kinds of things. In this there is no completeness. This is just a mess. If you sit here as a living being, everything is complete. If you sit here as a bundle of thoughts, emotions and rubbish, if you sit here as just a psychological being, you are a case <laughs> It's time to at least become a living being, don't become anything else. Just become a piece of life and you will see it's complete, absolutely complete. If you sit here as a mind, always incomplete, eternally incomplete, it cannot be complete because that's not its nature.